hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and if you're new here my name is esther mofri so in today's video i want to teach you one strategy that will help you understand what really goes on in the market if you're that person who always buy and the market sell or you sell the market buy this is the video for you so um i want to go straight to the video and i want to give you a strategy i call it ABM strategy, ABM strategy. Let me write it here for you guys. So the strategy we will be talking about, it's called A B M strategy. So this is a strategy that will help you to understand what is happening in the market and what to react because many people have come to realize they like um, trading a consolidation market and they are afraid to trade when there is big movement, there is volatility for fear of losing money. But consolidating market, again, it's not safe. Why? Because the minute you trade any consolidation market, if the market, if um, you get a momentum and you are on the wrong side, momentum is what makes you blow account. Big, big candles is what makes you blow account. I can give you even this chart. So we are in, uh, this is GBP AUD for hour. You can see many people would want to play safe here. Many people would want to trade here. They can put a sell or a buy. So if you put a buy, you will get, uh, if that zone breaks, you will get 414 pips. But if you, you are selling, you will go at a loss. And how many people would buy at this place? Not as many. Why? Because when you look at this structure, you'll start seeing a double top. You won't see any reason for you to buy. So the minute, uh, the place where this momentum, big candles come in is when they have already known your psychology, how you will think, how you will figure out the market. That's why they start playing these big candles. I, I want you to comment down below and tell me anytime you have blow your account or you have lost money or you're in deep, uh, deep uh, drawdown. Even for me, I've seen... Uh, sometimes I, I I trade and the market gives big candles against my prediction. They are caused by this big movement. Imagine selling, imagine selling here, thinking it's a possible double bottom, uh, a support double top, and then the market buying against you. And these are not small pips. These are so many pips, like 454 pips in one candle, guys. This is so big. So. So many are the times that we don't know why this big movement comes and the market will always leave footprint. So the market will tell you that this indecision that is happening, the market may go up or down. But many people will think because uh, my trades are just few uh, negative or small loss, there is no harm. So we can even take another big momentum candle. We can see many big momentum candle how the market behaves and it's as a result of uh, indecision in the market. So today I want to show you about ABM. ABM is understanding these big candles. Be, these big candles. How do you trade whenever you see these big candles in the market? Because many people will not trade here thinking the momentum is over and then they sell. If you are lucky, the market will sell immediately, 283 pips. But you can sell and the market continues to buy. So my strategy ABM, it simply means when do I, when do I trade if I have this momentum candle? So in our case right now, this is, the, this is the strategy guys, ABM strategy. We are dealing with ABM strategy. So before I show you about ABM strategy, let me show you what it means. What is ABM? So A stands for approach. A stands for approach, B stands for break, B stands for break, B stands for break, and C stands for, I not see, ABM, and M stands for mission. So in, in another story or in a, in a simple terms, the market will always do three things. The market wants to approach a zone or a key area. A market or a price wants to break a certain support or resistance or the price is on a mission to get a target. So if you understand what the market is doing at a, at a given time, you'll be able to trade. So we will start with A. 
every time guys you find your chart with this big momentum you are you will be asking yourself these three questions where is this candle can i place in which category is it a candle that is approaching my support or resistance so in this case you can do like this you can say approach it can be approaching support or resistance so you have to be very very like um what can i say you have to be very intentional knowing where is it approaching is it approaching a support or resistance or is it breaking a support or resistance or is it on a mission on a mission or uh, of a support and resistance on a very higher time frame you see when we are on a mission i'll explain how mission works so your work using abm strategy is to identify very huge candles many people don't know how to trade this candle and it is very easy so in this case we have this big candle so the price action of this candle the price action is a bullish engulf so that starts being bullish engulf so the price action is a bullish engulf stroke marubozu candle so what we have is a momentum buyers are willing to buy and buyers are more willing to keep pushing this market up but if you come in with the mind of oh this is a bullish engulf and this is a pattern guys this is a good pattern we call it a possible double bottom so if you start analyzing this everything is fine possible because this is how people analyze possible uh, double bottom so you have your possible double bottom there and then you have your neckline that is your neckline and then you measure half this is how we trade possible double bottom and to your amazement the market has already broken that half and it has really broken with a very huge candle so you can say that not only my market has has a um, has given me a bullish angle, it has already broken my half. So many people will come immediately and they would want to trade long position to the neckline because they have seen that candle. They didn't ask themselves, this candle because I'm seeing it and maybe they can put sub, uh, stop loss just uh, at the center of that candle, like the middle. The question that they are not asking themselves is that this candle is in which category? Are we approaching? Have we broken any key support or are we on a mission? So if I can see this candle, for me, I will look, let me now uh, tell you what many people don't understand. The minute you see this big momentum candle, your work is to do what? Your work is to check at the left. So I can check the left. Many people will say, oh, this was a consolidation. It has broken. And even they can put a box like that. And they can see like the, the, the buyers were not able to break, but now they have broken through. And they will build their case study, their case to a point of to a point of getting into a buy. But what can you uh, if I tell you about one candle, I have kept saying about one candle resistance, one candle uh, support. This candle is the one that we see that the market has approached. To a resistance so if you had this resistance in mind this big candle has approached because we can only approach resistance or support so unless the market breaks this resistance this one kind of resistance we don't buy immediately because once you buy immediately you are not even sure of what to do so abm strategy most so when the market has approached don't be so quick to buy that market or sell that market because you have a momentum candle so another thing is the approach in this case it has approached a resistance what are you supposed to do if the market has approached resistance the thing you're supposed to do is to wait you don't get immediately because the market will react this market has to react on this resistance because we have a resistance there so if you bought immediately let's see what candle did you have did the market got to take profit this is what you get that is what you get so immediately you get in it's a very big candle uh, and it's a very momentum candle and the market goes against you imagine guys the market goes against you and you don't know what to do so 
by the end of the by the end of the day even if you wait for another candle the market is still selling so this day the trade was at a loss or you are at a big and massive drawdown of 210 pips what resulted you to have this drawdown it's not like the double bottom is not accurate it's not like the market will not go up it's just because of this momentum candle has approached our zone and approaching means the market will react one day or the other so if we go to daily time frame let's try and see what which candle we had let me remove that the candle that you are seeing that had broken half let me put it color green so that we can know which candle so we we, we had this line let me put it green so that we can know it's that candle is that uh the half so that half that you're seeing on daily uh, on four hour that has broke remember on daily we still have the same possible double bottom but on daily it never broke so we can see it never broke it is very very clear never broke uh the 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 half so another thing to keep in mind don't be quick because you have seen a double bottom on four hour and daily there is no confirmation so the minute the market didn't break on four hour uh, on daily it was as a result uh, the, the market went down so quickly but now if at all you waited if at all you waited for this market to react already with the strategy that i teach my students on possible double bottom if half is broken if half is broken the market has to go to the half the market has to go to neckline if at all now after this momentum candle you wait for the reaction again which candle did we get guys which candle did we get a momentum this candle now again is momentum but now what uh, what type of momentum candle do we have is it approaching is it breaking is it on a mission the market approached our support you can see this is an area it's an interest this is an interest and that's where exactly the market came back to but buyers uh, sellers were defeated so if you're put placing your trade now right here if this is the time now you're placing the trade you come long position you place your trade right there and then now target we are targeting the neckline so if now this is the place you're targeting because of course you have known the manipulation is done but you'll be monitoring to see how daily candle closes so we have entered our buy but you'll go to daily because this double bottom is on daily you can't stay on four hour because if daily candle closes uh breaks here we are exiting the trade so let's see what happens and the stop loss can be a bit lower so on daily we want to see the market breaking this half let's see what happened in the next candle now this is an assurance that the market will buy so the, the market has given us a momentum candle the candle that we are talking about no this candle has to approach to the next resistance and the next resistance happens to be our neckline on four so if you know how this market behaves if a momentum candle comes it has to approach we have not even talked about breaking and mission in this video i will talk about approach alone if the market now has to approach because any momentum candle is given an assignment and this assignment of this green candle it is to go to the resistance this is the resistance guys and because now it has accomplished the criteria the criteria was at least to break this half because double bottom we have our half mark if the green candle breaks the half mark now it has a, a, a way to go there you can ask my you can ask yourself why did the green candle not be able to to go uh, to the market because this green candle is a spinning top let me hide this green candle is a spinning top it's not a momentum it's not a candle that we use abm we use abm only on momentum candle so if it is a doji spinning top any rejection candle we are not using abm so abm in this case we are using it because we have this green candle and because we have the green candle we are confident that it's approaching i told you the market can only approach the market can only approach support or resistance in this case this green candle has to approach our resistance and on four hour it is what on four hour it is there 
So the market has to approach resistance. So when you go to four hour, that resistance is the neckline. Let's go to four hour. That resistance, guys, is the neckline. So this is the neckline that the market has to approach. So let's go to daily and try to see how many days were you uh, were you about were you to enter. So you will enter a new position here because now you have been you have gotten a confirmation. So you will place new trade, new position. You will place new position. Here you entered with four hour. Here is a confirmation to enter new trade. Now let's see what happened after that. So the take profit was hit because every momentum candle, if it declares it wants to approach the next support or the next resistance, you cannot deny it. Guys, I hope this has really start you to be looking at big momentum candles in a different way every time you see a big momentum candle ask yourself is it approaching resistance or support if it is at resistance or support that big candle does not make sense to you don't continue selling or continue buying when the candle is at resistance or at support it has already approached the uh, the, the, it has already approached and done the assignment. I can give many uh, examples, but I don't want to continue doing this. Uh, continue doing this. So uh, I will go. I will do part two of this video where I'm talking about big momentum candles now being categorized in the breaking. What happens if a very huge candle breaks a support or resistance? Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye bye. Love you.